So now moving on from the statics videos, we're going to move on to strengths of materials. And now, so this is going to be a quick introduction to what this subject is. And it mainly has to deal with actually being able to determine the stresses developed in the materials depending on what external um, loads are being applied. And this also includes the analysis of structures. It could be an individual component within that structure and so forth. So for example, let's say we have a concrete column with some diameter D here and the height, let's just call it, H. Now let's say we have an external force being applied vertically downwards onto this concrete column. Um, we will be actually able to solve how much stress is developed within this material. We'll be able to determine if this material will be able to handle the forces being applied to this structure as well as determine how much will it deform. In other words, um, once forces being applied, this concrete column will be compressed and it will actually deform um, by a bit so the height will actually change so just to vi see it visually here this is the change in the height the delta h so we would actually be able to calculate how much this material will deform by how much so now the main reason why we look into the stresses developed in these in the materials and the structures and so forth um, not only is it helpful to determine whether it's going to fail depending on a certain loading scenario but the most important factor is to design accordingly such that it won't fail under certain loading conditions. So we'll, we would be able to size what minimum diameter would be required um, such that it won't fail given any external loading that we may be, we may be exposed to. Now the main reason statics is um, essentially necessary to this because it actually deals with analyzing structures. For instance, let's say we could have a a beam here and this is very familiar to what we were essentially analyzing for statics right we found the reactionary forces in this case um, we could say these are actually these concrete um, pillars over here um, and we would actually essentially solve for the reactionary forces and that determines what external loading is applied to each of the columns and then we will be able to design accordingly for those columns as well to make sure that they don't fail given any external loading. Now when it comes to the truss analysis, so remember when it came to analyzing trusses, um, we basically utilized two methods using the method of joints or the method in, of sections. So given any external loading scenarios that we may have for a specific trust, we were actually able to determine what forces each of these members were experiencing. So knowing whether each member was um, in compression or tension, as well as how much force, we would be able to um, determine the stress that would be developed. But of course, as um, previously mentioned, the most important part of it, it to, is to design these members to be able to withstand these loading scenarios. And so this is where strengths of materials comes into play and why it's important when it comes to the, the design of these structures, parts, or members of any systems. Now another example that was um, seen quite often in statics was having a beam with its supports and the external load. So one of the assumptions in statics was that we were dealing with rigid bodies meaning there would be we would assume that there is no deformation of the body itself. However, in reality, the, there there would be actual deformation of this beam. So if any external loading uh, force F would be applied significant that it would deform this beam, in reality, it will look more similar to, in reality, it will look much more similar to this where it actually would deflect or deform from its original position this amount. And so this would actually cause uh, internal stress to be developed within the beam. This is known as um, bending stress. 
and we would be able to calculate the bending stress and to determine if given the material of this beam and its geometry whether it will fail or not and of course we could design accordingly to make sure that it won't fail under certain loading conditions another example has a very similar situation here where we have this um, beam being fixed to the wall or some support and we have an external force at the other end being applied um, now this is commonly referred to as a cantilever beam now once this force is applied there will be some deformation or some deflection of that beam and so in reality it will actually look a little bit more like this where we actually see some deflection or deformation of this beam because it's bending due to that due to that force being applied. So this is what we're going to be dealing with when it comes to strengths of materials. Um, there's so much more when it comes to also there's thermal expansion and contraction and some internal forces, internal stress is developed because of it and we'll be going over much more. So hopefully this gives you a quick overview of what we're going to be doing.